Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we shall discuss on polar curves. So first we shall see the introduction of polar curves. So as we are familiar with the Cartesian coordinates, so these coordinates they are mainly used for specifying the plane. They are mainly used for specifying the x y plane. So for the Cartesian coordinates, we actually specify the two coordinates that is x and y are the coordinates so similarly for polar coordinate system We assume r comma theta to be the coordinates. And then the curves that specify these coordinates. coordinates are referred as polar curves so for this we shall consider a simple example for example We shall consider a simple four leaves rose with r comma theta with r comma theta to be the polar coordinates. So we shall consider the four axes. So then we shall consider this to be the point P. So now we shall we have considered the four leaves rows. So we shall consider the four leaves. Similarly, this. So then, uh, as we know that this is the point P, so we can consider this as the theta. So we have taken the two coordinates r comma theta. So then, consider this to be theta. So now we shall draw some axis to specify the angle from the center, from the center of the point. So this is also theta. So this is also theta, so this is to be theta and theta. So now, as you know that this is the theta, so first it will be 0 degree. So similarly, as we know that this is 90 degree, then if this is the 90 degree, then this will be 180 degree. And then 360 degree, so for that we can write in the form of a radians as 3 pi by 2. So then this if this is 0 degree and this is 90 degree, the half of will be 45 degree. So then 45 degree means you can write it as pi by 4. Similarly, so this will be 75, it will be 3 pi by 4. So this, this is a, a simple representation of a polar curve. So as you consider P to be the point. P to be the point. 
which is located on a plane. On a plane with the coordinates r comma theta. These are called polar coordinates. These are called the polar coordinates of the point P and where you can consider R to be. So where R is nothing but it's a radius. Where R is the radius vector. So therefore the equation for this polar curve. So then the equation for polar curve. is given by r is equal to f of theta. So this is the equation for the polar curve. So that is that is the polar coordinates R comma theta are related to the Cartesian coordinates x comma y. So therefore both the polar coordinates and the Cartesian coordinates. So both the polar coordinates and the Cartesian coordinates they are related to each other. So that is we can express the pol uh, we can express the Cartesian coordinates. That is the Cartesian coordinates. The Cartesian coordinates x and y. X and y can be represented as polar coordinates. And this can be shown as below. So this can be shown as below. That is we can express the x and y in terms of polar coordinates. That is we can replace we can replace the first coordinate is x. So we can replace x is equal to r into cos theta. And similarly we can replace y is equal to and similarly, we can replace y is equal to r into sin theta. So, thus we have replaced, thus we have expressed the Cartesian coordinates. That is, thus we have expressed, we have expressed Cartesian coordinates. X and y. In terms of polar coordinates r comma theta, so thus the polar curve, thus the polar curve equation is given as r is equal to f of theta. So this is the standard formula for the polar curve. Thank you, friends. Subscribe our channel for more updates.